Have you ever found yourself in a relationship where things just didn't click? It's like there's this nagging feeling that something's off, no matter how hard you try to make it work. Well, sometimes that feeling might not just be a coincidence. It could be God nudging you in a different direction. And let me tell you, when God wants to get your attention, he's not shy about it. He'll use all sorts of signs to steer you away from the wrong path, even if you're not paying attention. So, if you've ever questioned whether your relationship is truly meant to be, stick around. Before we dive in, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Alright, let's jump into it. Here are seven unmistakable signs from God that you shouldn't be with someone. Number 1. Inner Turmoil Why do you find yourself in a constant state of unease? Why does worry grip your heart when God has promised to provide you with a helper? Life's challenges may weigh heavy, yet resisting God's plan only adds to the burden. He's speaking to you through signs. But you've been turning a blind eye. Listen closely. God's guidance isn't to be taken lightly. He's leading you towards peace and fulfillment. But you must heed his call. The restlessness you feel is a nudge from above, urging you to align with his purpose. It's time to stop ignoring his gentle whispers and start embracing his divine direction. If you're feeling unsettled or uneasy about a relationship, it's time to listen up. See, when God approves of someone for you, he'll give you this sense of peace deep down. It's like a quiet assurance that everything's gonna be okay. But if every step forward feels like you're trudging through mud, that might be God's way of telling you to pump the brakes. Now, does it mean God doesn't care about the other person? He might just be looking out for you. Remember when Paul said in Philippians, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, present your request to God. It's all about trusting in Him to guide you. So, don't ignore those uneasy feelings. They might be God's way of protecting you from something you can't see. And hey, if you're feeling lost, it never hurts to seek some wise counsel from the Spirit. After all, two heads are better than one, especially when one of those heads is God's. Number 2. Red Flags If you're spotting warning signs in your relationship like disrespect, abuse, or other unhealthy behaviors, it might be a clear indication that God isn't guiding you towards that person. Remember, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 where it says, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. If the one you're eyeing isn't showing you love, respect, and care, it's likely not part of God's plan for you to pursue a relationship with them. Often we rely on our own strength rather than trusting in God's wisdom. We convince ourselves that we can change people, especially after marriage. Let's face it, change isn't a certainty. You can't force someone to change who isn't willing to. Only God holds that power. If you're already seeing red flags before marriage, hoping they'll magically disappear afterward is wishful thinking. Marriage doesn't change people. It amplifies who they already are. If both parties are starting off on shaky ground, be prepared for the consequences. This isn't to say you shouldn't give people a chance, but it does mean you need to proceed with caution. Anyone you're considering tying the knot with should be committed to leaving their negative traits behind. Otherwise, you might find yourself spending your marriage praying for change instead of relishing in God's blessings. Jesus himself stated, A good tree cannot bear evil fruit, neither can an evil tree bear good fruits. If your partner has shown violent tendencies before marriage, accept them to persist unless addressed. Ignoring red flags in the name of love is a mistake. Marriage won't magically correct what's broken. It'll only expose it. Number 3. Losing Yourself Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 through 26, Jesus tells us, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Picture this. 
You're on a journey following God's path, but suddenly, you start veering off course. You're losing sight of who you are. You're becoming someone you don't recognize. It's like trying to navigate through dense fog. Everything becomes unclear. Have you ever seen someone change because of the people they surround themselves with? Maybe they were once calm and collected, but now they're on edge all the time. It's a drastic shift, one that often goes unnoticed until it's too late. Before you know it, you're caught in the same whirlwind. Think about it. Are you doing things now that you never thought you would? Maybe you used to enjoy quiet evenings with a good book, but now you're out every weekend at loud parties just to please your partner. It's draining, isn't it? But here's the truth. A relationship rooted in God won't demand that you sacrifice your identity. Instead, it should encourage you to embrace who you are, quirks and all. So if you feel like you're losing yourself in your relationship, it's time to take a step back and reassess. Remember, God wants what's best for you, and that includes staying true to yourself. When it comes to boundaries, don't be afraid to speak up. You shouldn't have to compromise your values or comfort to make someone else happy. Whether it's saying no to things you're uncomfortable with or standing firm in your beliefs, setting boundaries is vital to maintaining your sense of self. If you find yourself in a relationship where you're constantly sacrificing who you are, it's time to reconsider. God created you with a purpose, and you deserve a relationship that honors that. Don't settle for anything less. So, remember this. Your identity belongs to God. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Stand firm in who you are, and trust that God will guide you on the right path. Number 4. Resistance. Have you ever felt like things just are clicking in your relationship? Like there's this invisible force pushing against you, making every step forward seem like a struggle. That might just be God speaking to you. He has a funny way of showing us when something isn't right. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 says, God also testified to it by signs, wonders and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to His will. Could be those sudden changes in plans, those little hiccups in the smooth sailing of your romance, or maybe it's just this feeling that things aren't quite adding up. Instead of brushing these off as mere coincidences, it might be time to pay attention. God might be trying to tell you something. And it's not because he's trying to make your life difficult. Far from it. He's simply nudging you in a different direction. One that he knows is better for you in the long run. It's easy to want to bulldoze through those roadblocks. To make things happen on your own terms. But trust me. It's always better to take a step back and listen to what God is trying to say. Maybe it's time for a little introspection. Chance to reevaluate where you're headed. And hey, who knows? Maybe God has something even better in store for you. But let's not get it twisted. This resistance isn't some attack from the devil trying to mess with your head. No, this is God's way of protecting you, giving you the time and space to figure things out. So if you feel like God's putting the brakes on your relationship, then fight it. Embrace it. Trust that he knows what's best for you, even if it's not what you had planned. Keep in mind, it's better to take it slow and steady than the rush into something that's not meant to be. If God's asking you to wait and wait, His timing is always perfect. Even when it doesn't make sense to us, trust in Him and you won't be led astray. Have you experienced any of these signs? Do you notice any of these signs in your life but brush them off? Let me tell you, friend, these are not mere coincidences. They are wake-up calls. It's time to pay attention because if these patterns persist, it's a clear message from above. Until you find your path together, these hurdles won't vanish. They'll persist. Drop a comment below and share your experiences. And if you've stayed with me this far, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Loneliness has hit its peak. Young folks aren't seeking meaningful connections anymore. It's all about fleeting flings and temporary thrills. The celebration of decadence is rampant. But amidst this chaos, if you're still holding out for genuine love, know this. God has a plan for you. Yes, you, who's searching tirelessly. God is reaching out to you directly today. 
He's whispering that your soulmate is on the way. It's just a matter of time. Ever noticed the difference between someone casually strolling into your life as a friend and someone stepping in with the clear intent of romance? It's subtle, but profound. When someone enters your world without forcing their desires upon you, yet brings immense joy, it's more than mere coincidence. It's a divine signal, guiding you toward your destined partner. Often we overlook these signs, thinking there might be another option if this one fades away. Yet, that's not how the divine plan unfolds. God's interventions are precise and purposeful. When He presents someone to you, it's not a coincidence, it's a divine arrangement. Missing out on recognizing this could lead to years of regret. Colossians 3.14 And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Many of us find ourselves in dark places, questioning the existence of love and the presence of God in our lives. But then, this person walks in, effortlessly restoring our faith and fills our lives with joy. It's God's way of reminding us that He cares deeply for each of us. This person becomes a beacon of light in our darkest hours, effortlessly bringing happiness into our lives. Their presence alone is a testament to the love and care God has for us. They remind us that life is meant to be lived with purpose, not just for the sake of existence. Their arrival in our lives is not a coincidence. It's a divine intervention. They are sent by God to constantly put a smile on our faces, even in the most challenging times. They bring light into our lives, illuminating the path that once seemed bleak and hopeless. And sometimes, we don't realize the impact they have until we reflect where we were before they entered our lives. They transform us, lifting us from despair to happiness, from loneliness to companionship. Their presence is a blessing that we should cherish and never take for granted. So, if you've been blessed with such a person in your life, don't overlook them. Embrace them, cherish them, and thank God for sending them your way. For they are not just a companion, but a divine gift, guiding you towards true love and happiness. Friendship, they say, forms the cornerstone of every enduring and meaningful connection. If you find yourself already entrenched in a friendship with someone, count it as a profound blessing. It's as though the divine hand of fate is gently guiding both of you together. Research suggests that the strongest relationships often sprout from the fertile soil of friendship. Before committing to each other, God allows a period of friendship to blossom. This phase is marked by a lack of pressure to conform to ideals of perfection, allowing both parties to authentically understand one another. If this person happens to be your closest confidant, consider yourself fortunate. You've stumbled upon a gem of a companion who isn't driven to impress you due to the depth of your existing bond. Even amidst failure, this friend remains a steadfast presence. It's a testament to God's intricate plan. If it weren't meant to be, why go through the effort of fostering such a close friendship and igniting feelings of love? God desires for you to revel in the beauty of this relationship stage before embarking on the journey of marriage. He intends for you to be with someone who fully comprehends every facet of your being, both the admirable and the flawed, yet chooses you unconditionally. If this person continually gravitates towards you, even after you've bared your soul and shared your past mistakes, it's a clear indication of divine intervention. Only God can instill such deep affection in your heart. It's a sign, unmistakably so, that He wants you to be with this person. In the midst of companionship, it's easy to overlook subtle cues that transcend mere friendship. The way someone treats you may signal a deeper connection, one that transcends the boundaries of friendship and hints at a lifelong partnership. Trust in the guidance of the divine and remain open to the signs that point you towards your soulmate. When you're seeking a sign from above that your destined partner is near, watch for a cosmic harmony and purpose. Purpose. That's the plan the Divine has knit into the fabric of your being. The path He's set for you to tread. You've likely glimpsed your own purpose by now. So, when you encounter someone whose purpose intertwines seamlessly with yours, it's more than a mere coincidence. 
It's a celestial orchestration. Picture this. Two souls marching to the same celestial drumbeat, their hearts drumming in sync with the divine rhythm. It's rare, not your everyday occurrence, but when it happens, it's a nod from the heavens themselves. Imagine finding someone whose dreams align perfectly with yours, whose aspirations dance to the same tune as yours. It's like finding a kindred spirit, a partner in purpose. And as you draw closer to them, you'll notice it. Their words echo in your own dreams, their goals mirror yours. Together, you're unstoppable, a force to be reckoned with. Remember, marriage isn't just about fleeting pleasures. It's a sacred covenant, a union of purpose. So when you stumble upon someone who shares your vision, who dreams the same dreams as you, don't hesitate. Take that leap of faith, for they may just be the one destined to walk beside you in this journey called life. Think back to biblical tales like Ruth and Naomi, or the deliverance of the children of Israel. God's hand was at work in those stories, guiding, orchestrating, and bringing about divine connections. Who's to say he won't do the same for you? Trust his plans, for they are plans of goodness, plans to lead you to a future filled with hope and purpose. Rest assured, you are not alone in this quest for love. God, in his infinite wisdom, knows the desires of your heart. So trust him, even when the path seems uncertain. For when you walk in faith, Miracles happen, and love finds its way to your doorstep. So, dear seeker of love, heed these words. Look for the alignment of purpose, listen to the whispers of destiny, and trust in the divine timing of it all. Your soulmate may be closer than you think, just waiting for the moment when your paths align and your hearts beat as one. It's crucial to grasp why certain individuals enter your life's journey ensuring you recognize their roles to avoid mixing up their permanence. Some people are transient, not destined for lifelong stays. Understanding this prevents confusion. Those meant to stay should, while those meant to depart should do so in their own time. Every encounter holds a purpose within its appointed time. Comprehending this universal truth is key. Your paths intertwine by divine design each interaction serving a greater purpose. Trust in God's guidance. He orchestrates your destiny towards greatness. Reflect on how he liberated the Israelites, or how Joseph emerged as his brethren's savior. Though God's way may seem inscrutable, adhere closely to him. He strategically places individuals along your path for reasons you may not fully grasp. As echoed in Psalms 23, 1-6, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He leads, protects, and blesses abundantly. Embrace faith in God's goodness, for He steers you towards favorable connections. Believe and witness the transformative power when He intervenes, akin to a dream turned reality, liberating you from captivity. Say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I know deep down in my soul, in the very core of my being, that what I long for most is to find that special someone, that one person with whom I can share every moment, every laugh, every tear. It's that ache in my heart, that yearning for companionship that sometimes keeps me up at night, wondering if such a love exists for me. But I come before you, with all my hopes and fears laid bare, trusting in your divine plan for my life. I know that you have already set in motion the beautiful tapestry of my future, woven with threads of love and destiny. So, dear God, I humbly ask that you guide me on this journey, that you open my heart and my eyes to recognize the one you have prepared for me. Let your Holy Spirit move within me, clearing away any doubts or fears that may cloud my judgment. And when the time is right, when our paths are destined to cross, Grant me the wisdom and the courage to embrace this love with open arms. I pray not just for any partner, but for someone who will lift me higher, who will challenge me to be the best version of myself. Someone whose presence fills my life with joy, with peace, 
with a sense of completeness. May they be a mirror reflecting back the love that I pour into them, honoring and cherishing me just as I do them. Lord, I know that preparation is the key. So I ask for your guidance in readying myself for this love, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. Remove any obstacles that stand in the way of our meeting. Clear the path so that I may step into this new chapter of my life with confidence and grace. And if, in your infinite wisdom, the answer to my prayer is not now, I trust your timing. I know that every delay is not a denial, but a preparation for something even greater. So, I surrender my heart to your will, knowing that you are always working behind the scenes, orchestrating the perfect love story for me. Amen. So, as we navigate through this journey of life, let's not overlook the significance of divine interventions and the people sent our way. Reflect on your encounters and trust in the guidance of the Almighty. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with more insightful content. Let's embark on this journey together, embracing the miracles that await us. How can we truly discern if someone harbors evil intentions or ulterior motives when they enter our lives? Are there warning signs to heed as we embark on new relationships, friendships, and associations? How can we confidently identify someone we barely know as malevolent? These profound questions weigh heavily on the minds of countless individuals worldwide today. Each of us yearns for genuine happiness and peace, yet, when unwelcome individuals intrude into our lives, the joy and peace we seek may elude us. Instead, we grapple with negative thoughts, anxiety, and sometimes even depression, simply because we've allowed the wrong people to influence our lives. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of recognizing individuals with malicious intent, those sent by malevolent forces, and safeguarding yourself, your friends, and your family from their influence. I urge you to stay tuned until the very end. Beloved, it's crucial to be discerning when it comes to choosing a life partner. A wrong match can mess things up, wreck God's plans for you, and hold you back. The Bible warns us about the devil and his schemes. His game plan isn't to see God's children thriving in the relationships and marriages. He wants the opposite. The devil wants to mess up our homes so they don't reflect Jesus here on earth. 1 Peter 5 8 says, Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Here's the deal. The devil can't stand strong, happy marriages. And he doesn't want God's children to experience the blessings of a fulfilling marriage. So it's important to be wise and keep your eyes open when it comes to choosing a life partner. Now let's dive into how to spot someone with evil intentions who is sent by Satan. Number 1. They are deceptive and untrustworthy. Matthew 7.15 warns us to beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really vicious wolves. One quality of someone sent by the devil is that they often hide their deceitful nature behind a friendly facade. Even though they may seem good at times, their true colors will eventually show. They might appear as fellow believers, but in reality, they're working against us on behalf of the devil, aiming to derail our path in life and destiny. Jesus cautions us to be on guard against them. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly, they are ferocious wolves. In other words, keep an eye on their actions and words. If they consistently display negative traits and go against the teachings of God, they're not truly aligned with Him. Their focus is often on their own feelings and desires rather than on God's guidance. So be vigilant and watch out for these signs and avoid them. Number 2. They are prideful. You can spot someone sent by the devil into your life when pride takes center stage. In 2 Timothy 3, 1-2, the Apostle Paul sheds light on this. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, 
unthankful, unholy. These individuals seldom focus on others because their main concern is themselves. Their conversations revolve around showcasing their achievements, their knowledge, and self-importance, leaving little room for others. Rather than lifting others up, they seek to impress with their accomplishments. You'll notice a lack of compliments or appreciation for others as they remain blinded by their self-centeredness. Identifying these individuals becomes easier when you observe how they make everything about them, expecting others to serve and worship them instead of embodying a spirit of service. It's crucial, my friend, to recognize and understand the importance of steering clear of such prideful and self-centered influences in our lives. Number 3. They are troublemakers. Titus 3.10 gives us a heads up. Warn a divisive person once and then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. If someone seems to stir up problems frequently, causing conflicts and dividing relationships, they might be influenced by Satan. These individuals often carry bitterness and believe they're flawless. You won't ever catch them spreading messages of God's love, forgiveness, or healing, and you won't ever see them speaking good about others. One key indicator is their unwillingness to let go of past hurts, clinging to wounds instead of seeking healing. Don't overlook these signs in your relationships. They're red flags that shouldn't be ignored. Number 4. They engage in immoral behavior. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 advises us to flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. In today's world, this has become a significant issue. Even among believers, questions arise about physical boundaries and relationships. Should Christians kiss, caress, or engage physically during courtship? God's standard is crystal clear. Any form of sexual intimacy belongs within the bounds of marriage. If you notice consistent immoral behavior in someone you're dating or in a relationship with, it's a signal that this person may be influenced by Satan. In such cases, it's wise to step away and protect yourself. Number 5. They are unrepentant. Revelation 9, 20-21 describes a group that refuses to repent despite facing plagues. They persist in worshiping demons and idols, engaging in various sins. When someone remains unrepentant, it indicates a long way to go in their spiritual journey. Don't stick with someone who refuses to change, especially when they acknowledge their wrongdoing. This might be God's way of saying that this person isn't meant for you, my friend. These signs are just a glimpse of what you might notice when someone is influenced by Satan. Stay vigilant and prayerful in your relationships, and trust God to guide you away from negative influences. In addition to the signs we've discussed, another marker of someone influenced by Satan is their tendency to go to extremes, often doing things without remorse. Their seemingly good deeds might have hidden motives, and acts of kindness may be a means of manipulation. They'll try to make you believe that you won't find true love or be able to live a fulfilled life without them. But dear friend, that's not the truth. Romans 16, 18 through 20 warns us about such individuals. For such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone, has heard about your obedience. So I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. When someone is marked by Satan, you'll notice a negative response to your walk and fellowship with God. Satan aims to prevent you from having a fulfilled life and a happy marriage, robbing you of the peace, joy, and blessings that the Lord has in store. He may make you overlook the sinful nature of a person, leading you to desire them the most, all with the intention of destroying your relationship. 2 Corinthians 11, 13-15 underscores the deceptive nature of such people. For such people are false apostles deceitful workers masquerading as apostles of Christ. 
and no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then, if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. God intentionally reveals these signs to protect you from the wrong person, but the devil tries to erode those convictions, using your pain as a gateway to draw you away from God. Be vigilant, hold on to God tightly, and recognize that the devil will exploit any opening in your fellowship with God to send destructive influences your way. Forsaking God's will and succumbing to the pleasures of sin can be dangerous. Stay focused on God, and if someone tries to lead you into sinful desires instead of fostering a deeper relationship with God, understand that they might be sent by Satan to attack you. Trust God, do not be afraid, and allow Him to work His will in your life. Remember, relationships are complex, and the devil may try to interfere, but God is always there to help you overcome. Keep your heart pure, your motives right and your intentions just before the Lord. He will grant you the desires of your heart, including a God-fearing spouse. In conclusion, let the Holy Spirit guide your relationship. No one ever gets lost following the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I urge you to surrender to His guidance and make sure you obey Him when He begins to prompt you to avoid or let go of someone not meant for you. You will discover the peace that transcends all understanding when you submit to God in all aspects of life, especially your relationships. In today's world, it's common to see people losing hope and love after experiencing heartbreaks, believing that true love does not exist. However, it's important to remember that despite the challenges, there is still hope for a love that is genuine and fulfilling. God works in mysterious ways, and He has a plan to bring you and the right person together in a way that may seem unexpected, but is truly awe-inspiring. It's understandable to feel the weight of past heartbreaks, but it's essential to have faith that God has a perfect plan for each of us. He understands the pain we carry, and He has the power to heal every broken heart and align circumstances for our ultimate happiness. Trust in God's timing and believe that He will bring the joy your heart longs for. It's crucial to recognize that God knows your struggles and can guide you through the darkest moments. By holding on to faith and trusting in His love, it's possible to find the strength to embrace love once again. Despite the challenges, it's important not to lose faith in the power of love. Psalm 37.4 reminds us to Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. This is a powerful reassurance that God can exceed our expectations when we speak of unexpected blessings and the joining of two hearts in love by God's grace. It's a testament to His limitless power. As the creator of the universe, nothing is beyond His reach, and He can bring about miracles in ways we may not anticipate. By keeping faith in God's plan and His boundless love, we can find comfort in the knowledge that He has the power to mend our hearts and lead us to the love we deserve. First and foremost, trusting in God for the right person to enter your life is an act of faith that requires an understanding of how God's plans unfold. Throughout the Bible, the concept of God's plans and purposes are intricately woven, revealing a deliberate, and purposeful nature that extends to every aspect of our lives. God's plans for each of us were meticulously crafted long before we came into existence. The individuals He brings into our lives play a crucial role in shaping our future, aligning with His perfect and purposeful intentions. While these plans may not always immediately make sense to us, in time, we come to realize their wisdom and significance. In Jeremiah 29:11. God declares, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse encapsulates the essence of God's plans for us, plans that are intricately designed with our well-being and prosperity in mind. Rather than leaving us feeling empty and unfortunate, His plans are intended to bear fruit and instill hope for a fulfilling future. Throughout the Bible, 
There are numerous accounts of God unexpectedly bringing individuals together, uniting their hearts in ways that serve His greater purpose. These instances serve as powerful reminders of God's ability to orchestrate connections that transcend human understanding, ultimately leading to the fulfillment of His divine plans. Understanding the depth and intricacy of God's plans allows us to embrace faith in His timing and purpose, knowing that His intentions for us are always rooted in love, hope, and a future filled with promise. The timeless tale of Ruth and Boaz serves as a poignant example of God's extraordinary ability to bring hearts together in unexpected ways. Upon facing the tragic loss of her husband and sons, Naomi, Ruth's devoted mother-in-law, found herself on a challenging journey back to her family in Bethlehem. Amidst these trying circumstances, Ruth, displaying unwavering loyalty, made the courageous decision to accompany Naomi to her hometown. Little did they know that this pivotal choice would set the stage for a series of divinely orchestrated events. In an astonishing twist of fate, Ruth found herself gleaning in the fields of Boaz, a close relative of Naomi's late husband. Boaz, a man of integrity and compassion, was deeply moved by Ruth's unwavering devotion to her mother-in-law and her steadfast faithfulness. Their encounters in the field served as the catalyst for a profound connection that transcended mere coincidence. Ultimately, their hearts united, leading to a beautiful union through marriage. This union not only brought joy and fulfillment to Ruth and Boaz, but also played a pivotal role in the continuation of Naomi's family line, weaving their lives into the tapestry of God's redemptive plan. The story of Ruth and Boaz is a testament to the limitless possibilities within God's divine plan. It shows his unparalleled ability to bring together lives that may seem unrelated, ultimately shaping destinies and rewriting stories in the most unexpected ways. The wisdom encapsulated in 1 Corinthians 1.27 further reinforces the profound nature of God's workings. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. This verse not only challenges conventional wisdom but also underscores the transformative power of God's choices, showcasing His extraordinary capacity to bring about unexpected and extraordinary unions. In the light of these powerful examples, we are encouraged to hold on to hope and remain open to the possibility that God has a remarkable plan in store for each of us. Despite the pain and disappointments of past relationships, let us embrace the promise of love, healing, and the potential for meaningful connections. One of the most inspiring examples of God's plan for us can be seen in the story of Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus Christ. As Christians, we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. We believe that He came to earth through a miraculous birth, Mary and Joseph were chosen by God to be part of this amazing event, not because they were rich, famous, or powerful, but because they had humble and faithful hearts. God saw their potential, and He entrusted them with His most precious gift. The story of Mary and Joseph reminds us that God has a detailed and intentional plan for each one of us, and that He wants us to be part of His bigger purpose. He can unite people from different backgrounds, circumstances, and expectations to create a beautiful and meaningful connection. He can also turn our challenges, doubts, and fears into opportunities for growth, trust, and obedience. All He asks from us is to follow His path and to listen to His voice. Secondly, know that trusting in God's timing while waiting for that special somebody can be quite challenging, but it's an important part of our journey. Have you ever felt like things are not moving as quickly as you'd like them to? Perhaps it feels like a long delay, and you wonder if God has forgotten about your prayers and dreams. But the truth is that God's timing is always perfect. It's never too early or too late. It's always on time. God's perfect timing serves as a dual purpose. Firstly, it grows our faith as we are compelled to wait and put our trust in Him. Secondly, it ensures that He alone receives the glory and praise for bringing us through challenging times. This process of waiting and trusting in God's timing may not be easy, but it ultimately strengthens our faith and character. 
In Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, we are encouraged to trust in the Lord with all our hearts, to lean not on our own understanding, but to submit to Him in all our ways. The promise is that He will make our paths straight. This serves as a reminder that trusting in God's timing is key, even when things seem uncertain or delayed. Abraham's story demonstrates the importance of trusting in God's timing. Despite facing seemingly impossible circumstances and enduring a lengthy wait, Abraham's unwavering faith in God remains an inspiration for us today. His story teaches us the value of patience and faith, illustrating that God's plans often unfold in ways beyond our comprehension. Abraham's perseverance while waiting for God's perfect timing sets a powerful example for those seeking guidance and encouragement during their own periods of waiting for the right person to come. It's natural to look around and compare our lives to those of others. Seeing friends and acquaintances achieving milestones such as marriage, children, successful careers, or material possessions can sometimes lead to feelings of inadequacy or impatience. However, Ecclesiastes 3.11 reminds us that God makes everything beautiful in its time and that no one can fully grasp the entirety of God's plan. This verse serves as a comforting reassurance that God's timing will bring about beauty and fulfillment in our lives, regardless of the pace at which it unfolds. Beloved, your journey is unique, and comparing it to others only brings unnecessary heartache. Trust in His perfect timing, for He is working a beautiful masterpiece behind the scenes to bring the right person into your life in an unexpected way. When the time is right, you will meet the right spouse, hold your baby, drive your car, excel in your career, and even build your dream home. Embrace the unexpected, for every person who enters your life has a purpose. Even amidst heartbreak, trust that God is using these experiences to mold and prepare you for something extraordinary. God's hand in joining two people in love and marriage is a divine masterpiece. Your time is on the horizon, so hold on to your hope and faith in God's timing. Just as Jacob patiently waited an additional seven years for Rachel, trust that your expectations are known to God and He will fulfill His plan in His perfect timing. God cares deeply about your marital journey and has individual plans for each and every one of us. Every challenge you face is equipping you for the remarkable future that God has in store. When God leads you to that special person, you will experience an inner peace and calmness that signifies His divine guidance. There's no need to fear, for God's hand is at work, ensuring that you are connected with the right person at the perfect time. Through His grace, your love story will be a testimony inspiring others to trust in God's timing and purpose. The story of Isaac and Rebecca illustrates the intentional nature of God's involvement in our marital journeys. Their union was a heavenly arrangement designed to fulfill God's purpose. They didn't know it was going to happen, nor did they orchestrate their union. God did, and it was beautiful. Similarly, God has seen your tears and faithful efforts and He is preparing to bring someone faithful and true into your life. This person will add immeasurable meaning and value to your life, a testament to God's intentional and purposeful love story for you. Dear beloved, your Heavenly Father loves you immeasurably, and He is working diligently to bring a faithful and extraordinary person into your life. Trust in His timing, embrace the unexpected, and remain hopeful. For his love story for you is beyond what you can imagine. God bless you. If you found this video uplifting, kindly give it a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Navigating the complex world of dating as a Christian can be challenging. Especially when trying to discern if someone is truly God's choice for you. It's important to understand that God may not audibly confirm who your life partner should be. He does provide guidance through His Word and the principles it teaches. This guidance can help us identify if a relationship aligns with God's will for our lives. One key indicator to consider is communication. Just as a structural engineer cannot assess the durability of a building without examining its foundation, 
we cannot gauge the health of a relationship without looking at its communicative foundation. In the realm of lasting relationships, certain core principles are non-negotiable, and effective communication is paramount among them. Think of a relationship as a building. If the foundation is weak, the structure will likely crumble. Similarly, a relationship without healthy communication is destined to face challenges. Communication issues can manifest in various ways. For instance, a relationship where conversations are forced or filled with awkward silences indicates a lack of connection. Proverbs 15.4 reminds us that the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. This verse highlights the importance of nurturing and life-giving communication in a relationship. Moreover, relationships where discussions frequently lead to arguments or hurt feelings are red flags. This type of communication doesn't foster the mutual respect and love that Ephesians 4.15 speaks of when it urges us to speak the truth in love. A relationship should be a safe space where both individuals feel heard and valued not a battlefield of words. Emotional fulfillment in conversations is crucial. While not every discussion with your significant other will be groundbreaking, there should be a general sense of connection and enjoyment when you converse. This aligns with 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, which describes love as patient, kind, and not easily angered. When communication is consistently hurtful or unsatisfying, it's worth questioning whether this relationship reflects the love described in the scriptures. Examining how you communicate with your partner can provide significant insight into whether the relationship is God's choice for you. A relationship destined to last is built on a foundation of healthy, respectful, and nurturing communication, reflecting the principles of love and understanding as taught in the Bible. Two. It's vital to recognize when a partnership aligns with God's design and when it veers off course. This brings us to a crucial point. The concept of complementing each other in a relationship, especially in the context of marriage, as outlined in the scriptures. Let's delve into what it truly means to complement each other in a Christian marriage. The Bible, in its wisdom, offers distinct guidance for husbands and wives. Consider Colossians 3, 18 and 19, where it says, Wives, submit to your husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. This passage at first glance might seem like it's assigning rigid roles, but there's more to it. In a broader Christian context, as echoed in Ephesians 5, 21, Mutual submission is a cornerstone of all relationships among believers. Similarly, the call to love one another, as stated in Mark 12, 31, is universal. So, why these specific instructions for husbands and wives? The key lies in understanding the unique manifestation of these principles within a marital bond. A harmonious marriage under God's plan showcases a special kind of love and submission. It's not just about fulfilling duties, but about enriching each other's spiritual and emotional well-being. The love a husband shows his wife and the respect a wife shows her husband are reflections of God's love for his church. They're unique expressions that transcend the general love and respect Christians are called to show one another. This distinction is crucial in a relationship where both parties are followers of Christ, there should be a natural synergy, a unique interplay of strengths and virtues that echoes God's design. A husband and wife, in their individual roles, should bring out the best in each other, uplifting and supporting one another in ways that are unique to their union. Therefore, if you find yourself in a relationship where this divine complementarity is missing, where the spiritual, emotional, and biblical roles feel forced or unnatural, it's a significant indicator. It might be a sign that this is not the partnership God has intended for you. The absence of this synergy doesn't just impact your relationship with each other, it affects your collective relationship with God. In a truly God-ordained union, 
there's a beautiful harmony that resonates. It's like a well-composed symphony, where each instrument plays its part, not overshadowing, but enhancing the other, creating a melody pleasing to the Lord. So, if this harmony is missing, it's worth pausing and reflecting. Remember, God's plan for marriage is not just about finding a partner, but about finding the right partner with whom you can glorify Him in the most profound and harmonious way. 3. The Role of Temptation in a Relationship Picture this. A couple deeply in love, yet their relationship brings more temptation than peace. It's like trying to fill a leaking bucket. No matter how much water you pour, it never fills up. This scenario reflects an essential biblical principle found in 1 Corinthians 7, 1 through 5. Scripture teaches us that marriage should reduce sexual temptation, not amplify it. It's a bond that's meant to nurture purity and spiritual growth. If your relationship feels like a constant battle against temptation, instead of a haven of mutual support and purity, it might be a sign to pause and reflect. It's like planting a tree in rocky soil and expecting it to flourish. Without the right foundation, growth is stunted. Struggling with temptation doesn't automatically disqualify a relationship. It's about how you both respond to these challenges. If there's genuine repentance and a collective effort to align with God's will, there's hope. Remember, it's not just about avoiding sin. It's about pursuing holiness together. Now, think about the modern view of finding the One. It's often portrayed like a cosmic lottery, where God's role is to handpick the perfect match for us. This notion, though appealing, oversimplifies God's plan. It's not about God being a divine matchmaker, but about Him guiding us to love selflessly and faithfully. God's desire is for us to love beyond the compatibility charts. Even the most compatible couples face storms. What sustains a marriage isn't just compatibility, but the commitment to love unconditionally, as Christ loves the church. This love isn't a passive feeling, it's an active choice. In this light, a relationship that seems less compatible, but is rich in mutual respect, understanding, and sacrificial love, can be more blessed than one that ticks all the boxes, but lacks true love. It's about choosing to love the person you are with, not obsessing over whether they are the best match. The key isn't just finding someone who matches your checklist, but to find someone with whom you can grow in Christ-like love. 4. It's essential to understand that the person God has chosen for you will align with His vision for your life. This vision isn't just about the roles you play or the ministries you're involved in, it's about something deeper, becoming more like Christ. As 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, we are to be transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory. This transformation is the true essence of a Christ-centered relationship. When considering a potential partner, it's crucial to look beyond surface-level attributes and delve into their spiritual journey. Ask yourself, does this person embody the discipline and commitment required to prioritize Christ above all else? This isn't just about their current actions, but also about their spiritual history and growth. Marriage is a doorway. Before entering, the sign reads, Whosoever will, symbolizing the freedom of choice and choosing a life partner. But once you step through, the sign on the other side reads, predestined and foreordained from the foundation of the world. This signifies that God knew your choice all along, and now it becomes a lifelong covenant. In our guide, Vertical Marriage, a Godward preparation for life together, we outline several potential warning signs to consider before making this life-changing commitment. It's not always about stopping the relationship but sometimes about taking time to ensure alignment in your spiritual paths. Remember, choosing a spouse isn't just about compatibility in the present. It's about committing to someone who will journey with you towards Christ-likeness for a lifetime. 
It's about finding someone who understands that the essence of marriage isn't just about personal fulfillment, but about spiritual growth and glorifying God together. So, as you consider whether the person you're with is God's choice for you, reflect on these aspects. And if you're finding value in this conversation, consider subscribing and liking this video. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.